So, before I start this video, I would like to make a shout out to Idik Veer and his awesome YouTube channel. You can check it out in the description below and I really recommend him. He has a ton of great videos and he is awesome supporting the community. Uh, his uh, comments towards my channel are, are always very positive and very motiv motivational. So check it out. If you're subscribed to me and not to him, I will... No. Well, I can't do anything. But uh, please go and check him out. I wanted to address his 500 uh, video about uh, miniature anonymous meeting, which I thought was a pretty cool idea. And uh, I should do mine here as well. Um, hello, my name is Alan and I'm a miniature painting addict. And uh, you may know my videos by now, probably, hopefully, and I hope you like them. Uh, I have two years painting. I started on July 2011, so it's almost the end of July, it's the 31st today. And uh, I have two years. I've officially have two years um, painting. So. I shall start this video now. How's it going guys? Welcome to this video. As you can see I'm working on a display board for my army, which is the Dark Elder one. And also I will I will use it for Chaos and any other army that I would like to showcase or uh, to take to a tournament in the future probably, hopefully. And uh, here it is. I hope you like it. And I'm going to talk a little bit about how I went about it uh, to this stage. This is the first update and I think it's looking uh, pretty good. So here it is. So I have... I try, I tried to made it, make a kind of a, a schematic before, uh, before applying the pink foam that you can get on Home Depot or any other kind of construction uh, supply store and uh, and yeah so I have space for a t 20 man squad here for a raider some elite troops another 20 man plus raider and then here I have a lot of space for troops and large vehicles and stuff like that here I have a, a little uh, top space for uh, my HQ I thought here I would like to put a couple of uh, ravagers or maybe a flying base with a flyer and I think that's enough space to fit a decent army here this is a um, frame, picture frame that is uh, 18 by 24 actually it's a little bit uh, smaller than that like half an inch all around but it's fine and uh, and yeah what I did is uh, quite easy uh, I just uh, bought this piece here that costed cost about uh, $16. It's kind of expensive for just a frame because I ended up throwing away the, uh, the plastic and the uh, cardboard that was in the middle here. And then I bought the uh, this I had it spare because uh, this is foam core from a uh, uh, craft store probably. Um, I use it for my architecture projects sometimes so I have a lot of it and to spare and so I build it up uh, I cut it to the to the size and I attach it to the back like if it was the uh, original cardboard to the same uh, dimension so that was pretty easy to make and then I just uh, went on and uh, planned out a little bit how I wanted to my display board to look and uh, and cut out the, f the parts with the pink foam the, again that you can get on uh, hardware stores and uh, home improvement stores like Home Depot and I glue it on with this here Gorilla Glue which is uh, very very strong stuff and very weird too it uh, it expands and cures with water so you have to m 
to dampen the surface first and then apply the Gorilla Glue and then clamp it with something really, really heavy. And uh, that's what I did. And even though I tried to make it very precise, there were, there were some parts where uh, this, this thing here slid a little bit to the, to the edge and I had to cut a little bit of the of, uh, material on the back because even though I positioned it well, it kind of moved around while it was uh, drying because this stuff uh, expands a lot. So yeah, that's a problem. You have to watch out for that. And uh, then I went in with my X-Acto blade and just uh, cut off pieces from, from here to make it look like a cliff face on all of these places here. This is really simple stuff. You just uh, you just pierce the uh, the pink phone with with the sucker blade and just try to uh, chip pieces off of the uh, of the foam, and that's it. This is where I am. I currently uh, masked all of the edges because I'm going to start putting some spackle on it, and yeah, we'll we'll see how that goes. I want to. Uh, put some sand, sand on it. I bought some paint for uh, covering it, covering it, and I wanted to make it like a snow base, like the snow bases that I'm doing. So uh, I hope it turns out looking good. Uh, and to give credit to other producers, I would like to recommend you to look at um, painting clinics, the painting clinics channel which is the channel which imp inspired me to do this board. He has a dark elf board for uh, Warhammer Fantasy and that's where I took inspiration to start this project and I hope you like it and follow it. Uh, hopefully it'll turn out well. Today I should be doing my Black Templars tutorial but I kinda got excited about this project and uh, postponed it a little bit more. Uh, sorry for that, but that happens. Alright, so overall this project shouldn't be so expensive. Although for me it was a little bit because the glue cost about um, six dollars. The, uh, the frame costed about sixteen. This was cheap, but it's about three or four dollars. Uh, this was this one was a piece of 24 by 24 that was uh, six dollars, and I think that's all that is to it. Um, all right, I think that's that's all. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Giant dog invasion.